you might have noticed that we are no longer in After Effects, but instead inside of a sister application in the Creative Suite, Adobe Illustrator. That's because I want to share with you a new feature that links those two applications together. We're going to be able to create vector artwork inside of Illustrator and then bring it into After Effects and extrude it. So we can create 2D vectors and extrude them. It's really, really awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some artwork. And if you're new to Adobe Illustrator, I highly suggest that you watch the course on Adobe Illustrator CS6 hosted by yours truly on the VTC website so that you can really master the power of Illustrator and use it in conjunction with After Effects. So having said all of that, I'm going to show you how we can quickly create a logo and bring it into After Effects in the next part. So we have all these tools here. We have shape tools, we have a pen tool. We can get started with anything. But to keep things simple, I'm going to go to my window menu and I'm going to grab this guy right here called the Pathfinder panel. This panel is going to allow us to combine shapes so we can take things that are a little bit complicated to create and more easily make them. So for example, I can go to these tools here and let's say I grab a polygon. All right, so I'm going to draw this polygon out. And I'll do it sideways like this. And by the way, as far as worrying about the color of the logo, that's not important. And even the shape is not important because when we take this artwork into After Effects, we will still be able to edit it. In other words, we can take our points. And these guys are called points right here. And we'll be able to move them around. We'll be able to change the color of this guy and all kinds of cool stuff. Let's go back to this shape tool area here and let's grab a rounded rectangle and just draw it on the bottom like so. And last but not least, let's take two stars. Now this is going to be the single ugliest logo ever created in the history of mankind. But the point is, of course, I just want to share with you just a few tools and show you how we can bring this into After Effects. So the, uh, the point is to, to show you how a very powerful Pathfinder tool can make your life a lot easier. So let's say you had a client and they wanted their logo to look like this. All right. So, but they don't want to have these lines here. They want it to be a unified shape where the stars are attached to this box. And then you have this weird shape here. We can grab all these guys using this black arrow called the selection tool. And we can simply drag select like so. And then in the Pathfinder, the very first tool you see here is called Unite. It's going to join all these shapes together. And when I click it once and deselect, we now have one shape. Now, as I said, it could be a quite difficult task to create something like this or even more complicated things, but that's what this tool is for. I'm going to undo that just to show you what happened here by going to the view menu and choosing the outline mode. Now outline mode shows us everything that's intersecting, right? So these guys are overlapping and intersecting. And when I grab the pathfinder and click, it takes those overlapping pieces and combines them. So that's what's happening behind the scenes. Now we're going to take this shape and we're going to save it to our desktop and then bring it into after effects. Now, by the way, if you don't have Adobe illustrator, uh, I will have this absolutely horrible logo inside of the work files folder simply called awful logo. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to choose to save. I'm going to save this to my desktop and let me go to my desktop real fast. And I'm going to just keep it on the Adobe Illustrator file format and we'll just call it awful logo and hit save. So let's talk about the Illustrator options very quickly. Now, because these guys are in the same creator suite, which would be CS6, chances are very good that we don't have to change very many things because they're meant to work together. But let's say you're working with someone who has an older version of After Effects. Well, the first problem is this vector thing I'm about to show you in the next part won't work because it doesn't exist. But hypothetically, you might have to turn off some of these options. And you might even want to go to a legacy or older version of Illustrator so that you can more 
confidently and sure that they'll work together. For example, sometimes when I work with Blender or I work with other applications and I want to export these lines so I can extrude them into 3D objects, I will go back as far as Illustrator 3 or Illustrator 8. What this means is that all the newfangled things that Illustrator adds over the years won't be in there and it won't cause me any issues when I export. But for now, Illustrator CS6 should work just fine. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And this file is now saved to our desktop. In the following lesson, we'll go ahead and import it into Illustrator and then we will extrude it using the new features.